thank you very much for that introduction. Um, I feel like I have to correct a small point, which is that I'm the Chief Executive of Wikimedia UK, which is the UK chapter for Wikimedia, but not of the foundation itself, which is based in San Francisco, where they have weather like this all the time. Um, so, but earlier this year, I was invited to speak on a panel at the WOW Festival at the South Bank Centre. For those of you who don't know, WOW is the Women of the World Festival, the brainchild of artistic director Jude Kelly, which launched in 2011 and took place in 15 countries around the world this year. I spoke quite briefly about the gender gap within Wikimedia, off the back of which I was invited by the Open Data Institute to give this lecture. So with rather longer to speak this time, I delved more deeply into the issue of gender disparity and bias on Wikipedia and the sister projects. I spoke to international colleagues who are working to address the issue, and I read many articles and reports about the gender gap, both on Wikimedia and in the mainstream media. As I did so, I have to confess that my initial enthusiasm about speaking today diminished, and I started to feel somewhat intimidated by how much has already been written about this topic, generally by people much more qualified and well-informed than I am. So it became increasingly clear that I could not easily give a neutral, unbiased perspective on the gender gap on Wikipedia. In part, this is because I am not neutral or unbiased when it comes to gender. Um, but it's also because there are no definitive answers to the key questions that I wanted to tackle in this talk of what is the gender gap within Wikimedia, why does it, why does it exist, and obviously, really importantly, how can we address it? There is also, to an extent, a lack of consensus about whether and why the gender gap is important. Wikipedia, of course, is based on the fundamental principle of a neutral point of view. However, given that I can't offer a neutral, unbiased report on the gender gap, I'll instead be giving you my personal perspective, drawing on existing research and reports as much as I can. But you are welcome to let me know later that there is a citation needed. Perhaps that was a bit of an in-joke. <laughs> Uh, Wikipedia is the only non-profit in the top 10 most visited websites and is one of the most influential sources of information in the world. The vision of Wikipedia is a world in which every single human being can freely share in the sum of all knowledge. There are now over 5 million articles on the English Wikipedia and over 35 million articles across the whole of, the Wik of Wikipedia, which exists in nearly 300 languages. It really is quite an extraordinary achievement. And what's most remarkable about this to me is that that has all been written by volunteers. There's an ill-built process of peer review and clear content guidelines in place to ensure as much as possible a very high level of accuracy. But to be clear, the vision is about the sum of all knowledge, not about half of it. Until we're able to significantly address the gender gap on Wikipedia, both in terms of contributors, known in the community as editors, and in terms of content, we are only telling half our story. I hope you don't mind here if I digress um, and share an anecdote um, from about 25 years ago. Um, and I remember being in my history teacher's office and seeing a cartoon on her notice board. I suspect many of you have also seen this cartoon or heard this joke. The top of the cartoon was titled History, and it showed a man wa walking on water, while the bottom strip showed a woman walking under the sea with the man on her shoulders, and the caption, Her Story. I have to say, I didn't quite understand that at the time, as a young teen had always been made to feel that I could achieve anything. But of course now I understand better about the way in which gender inequality has perpetuated through the centuries, both in terms of the opportunities for women, but also in terms of how stories are told about our past and our present that exclude the contribution of women. Yes, Wikipedia is an encyclopedia in which information must be presented from a neutral point of view and based on reliable sources. And yet all source material will in some way reflect its time and its context, as no matter how hard we strive to be neutral, as human beings, we unconsciously apply our own filter to both the creation and the consumption of knowledge and information. Reference works can also become contentious when they play into larger cultural debates about what, or indeed who, deserves to be recognised as knowledge. As I've mentioned already, there are two distinct elements to the gender gap on Wikipedia, and whilst they're undoubtedly related, I'm going to look at them separately in the first instance. The first is that, quite shockingly, only about 15% of the tens of thousands of Wikipedia editors around the world are women. And research suggests that the actual proportion of content that's generated by women is even less than that. Of the reports that I've read, some suggest that the gap is decreasing. Others claim that the gap actually was never as wide as has been reported because the reports are based on surveys and the self-selecting process underpinning that sampling technique tends to produce unreliable and biased data. 
Still, other reports state that actually, the gap has remained reasonably consistent over the past decade, during which time the gender gap on other platforms has diminished. I think it's clear that whatever the true picture, the aim of increasing the proportion of women editors to 25% by 2015 has not been met, despite a firm commitment from the Wikimedia Foundation to achieve this, and a plethora of interventions and initiatives to support women editors and increase coverage of women, some of which I'll touch upon later. Much has been written about why so few women edit Wikipedia. And while, of course, it can be problematic to generalise, there are three things which stand out as being particularly key to this issue, and those are conflict, confidence, and criticism. Firstly, female Wikipedia users are less likely to contribute to Wikipedia due to the high level of conflict involved in the editing, debating, and defending process. Whilst the ethos of the site is one of collaboration and respect, and there are clear policies in place, outlining um, acceptable online behaviour, I think it's fair to say that the culture of the platform can be alienating to some people, and particularly to women. Secondly, it's suggested that female users are less likely to contribute to Wikipedia due to gender differences in confidence. Experts suggest that men and women tend to have different levels of confidence in the value of their own contribution, regardless of their actual knowledge and abilities. And it's argued that men generally have a stronger belief in their expertise on subjects and are more motivated to assert their opinion. So this then would seem to be a key reason why fewer women edit with the encyclopedia. Thirdly, research supports the view that women are less likely to contribute to Wikipedia because they prefer to share and collaborate rather than to delete and change other people's work. Whilst the process of being involved in improving Wikipedia is widely called contributing, often it actually involves deleting or modifying another editor's work rather than creating an article from scratch particularly on the English Wikipedia, where so much content already exists. Similarly, while we use the term collaboration in the sense that many people are collectively producing knowledge, this doesn't actually happen synchronously, and some, to some people it might feel less like collaboration and a little bit more like competition. So the key reasons that are limiting women's contribution to Wikipedia therefore appear to be a combination of the culture and community within Wikimedia and the innate behaviours and characteristics of women, although clearly this doesn't apply to all women. But culture doesn't have to be innate, and can and should change to accommodate different types of people and different ways of being. In the same way that many schools and other educational settings have responded to the fact that students have different learning styles, so too should the Wikimedia community embrace the different ways in which men and women approach things like conflict and collaboration. As research exploring what makes teams collectively intelligent has shown that groups with a higher proportion of women outperform more male-dominated groups, I personally believe that without the contribution of women, Wikipedia will fail to meet its full potential. Simone de Beauvoir said, it is not women's inferiority that has determined their historical insignificance, it is their historical insignificance that has doomed them to inferiority. This plays into the second aspect of the gender gap on Wikipedia, which is the content itself. The content gap is perhaps best illustrated by the disparity of coverage between notable men and women. Around 15% of biographies on the site are of women. But what I think is particularly interesting is that the Welsh Wikipedia, which is newer and of course much, much, much smaller than the English Wikipedia, and over which it's probably fair to say that Wikimedia UK as a charity has exerted more influence, um, the percentage is actually double that at 30%. So this can change. Wikipedia articles are all built in secondary sources, and so the systemic bias against women reflects gender inequality in the wide world. One of the issues in terms of the content gap is reliable sources, including foreign language sources, as well as notability. As we all know, historically, women often struggle to carve a role for themselves outside of the home, but even those women who made extraordinary contributions in fields such as science and medicine were still written about less extensively than men, if at all and they were often written about in relation to men. Marie Curie, for example, was apparently included in the Encyclopedia Britannica of the early 20th century as the wife of Pierre Curie, and was simply an addendum to his biography. The tone of what's written about women might be somewhat different to that which is used to write about men and their achievements, with a focus in the women's um, sections on personal attributes and relationships. I've seen for myself, actually, the way in which this difference in tone within reference materials can seep into the online encyclopedia of the 21st century before being deleted or amended by an editor, male or female, who is more attuned to this kind of systemic bias. 
Another aspect of the content gap, but one which is a bit less tangible, is the idea that topics usually considered to be women's issues, and I have to put, put that in, in, those, in those quotation marks, are less well covered on Wikipedia. And of course this is problematic territory because it requires us to generalise about what might be considered women's issues. But one example that was shared with me was the article on breast cancer, which seemed to give equal, perhaps even more weight, to male instances of breast cancer, when in fact only a very small percentage of breast cancer sufferers are men. I'm pleased to say that the article doesn't look like that now, but it's really interesting insight into the lens through which the editors of that particular article must have been looking. There are other examples where a content gender gap has received exposure and has subsequently been addressed by the community. Over a period of weeks and months in 2013, prominent American authors such as Louisa May Alcott, Harper Lee and Donna Tart disappeared from the Wikipedia article on American novelists into a subcategory of American women novelists. This is actually no longer the case, which again, I think is evidence of a growing awareness within the community of the imperative to create an encyclopedia that's free from bias and inequalities. There have in fact been many initiatives, both, both at a local and a global level, to try to address the, the gender gap on Wikipedia. On the English Wikipedia, community projects include the Gender Gap Task Force, Wikiproject Feminism, Wikiproject Women's History, Wikiproject Women Artists, Wikiproject Women Scientists, Wikiproject Women Writers, Wikiproject Jewish Women, and Wikiproject Indian Women and Gender Issues, among others. Other initiatives include the Wikidata Game, Wikiloves Women, and Women in Red, which aims to reduce the gender gap in a positive way through turning red links into blue. Or, in other words, to create links to articles about women and their works, replacing links that are non-existent or have been deleted. Tools that have been created include the Systemic Bias Workshop Kit, which includes a Wikipedia how-to on writing diversity back into history. Globally, the movement has run a lot of content gender gap-focused editathons, some of which have been, been supported by the Inspire campaign. Launched by the Wikimedia Foundation last year, Inspire awarded a series of grants for projects that sought to address the gender gap, including the Art and Feminism project. Art and Fem Feminism is a global event. It's now in its third year, with 160 events in 30 countries taking place in March 2016. Wikimedia UK participated in Art and Feminism for the first time this year, coordinating events in a range of institutions, including Tate Britain, Leeds Central Library, Dulwich Picture Gallery, the ICA, the National Library of Wales, the Scottish National Portrait Gallery, and others. The, the aim of those events was threefold, to raise awareness of the gender gap on Wikipedia, to increase the quality and quantity of coverage of women in the arts, and to recruit and train new editors, who we hope will continue to contribute to Wikipedia after the event. I think it's crucially important that the narrative of our achievements as human beings not only includes women, but that women are the authors of their own stories as well. At Wikimedia UK, we believe that open access to knowledge is a fundamental right and a driver for social and economic development. We work with the Wikimedia projects such as Wikipedia <coughs> to enable people and organisations to contribute to a shared understanding of the world through the democratic creation, distribution and consumption of knowledge. I joined the charity last October and have been leading on the development of our new three-year strategy in which issues of inequality and bias are high on the agenda. In fact, one of our four long-term outcomes is that Wikimedia projects reflect our diverse society and are free from systemic bias. The charity has always taken diversity very seriously and has developed and delivered a number of projects focused specifically on closing the gender gap. We capture and closely monitor gender information about our volunteers and event attendees and have specific annual targets for the number of editors, volunteers and lead volunteers that are women. We have a strong track record in attracting a relatively high level of female volunteers to our activities. And so our own gender-based statistics are better than the female editor representation on Wikipedia. And from an organisational perspective, Wikimedia UK exemplifies excellent gender equality, with an equal gender split on both the staff team and the board, while the senior management team is all female. Going forward, we want to increase the coverage of underrepresented subjects and groups on Wikipedia and the other Wikimedia projects, with a particular focus on women and on minority groups. But we will only achieve this through partnership and collaboration. I was initially planning to open my talk with some examples of what the global gender gap really looks like offline. Gap is such a small, innocuous word that even the semantics of the issue suggest to me an absence that something is lacking. In real life, of course, it's not so much a gap as a chasm. 
I thought about mentioning the 200 million women and girls who are currently living with the emotional and physical fallout of FDM. I thought about raising the issue of the gender pay gap and the fact that the World Economic Forum has forecast that it will take 117 years for gender parity, parity to be achieved in the global workplace. So my great-great-granddaughter might just have a shot at earning the same salary as a man doing the same job as her. In this context, the fact that a gender gap exists on Wikipedia might seem somewhat trivial. However, as someone who spent much of my career in the arts, and the six years prior to joining Wikimedia UK running a literature organisation, I believe that words are fundamentally important to shaping our understanding of ourselves and of the world. If Wikipedia is the most influential source of information, then it matters that women are not equally represented in either the makeup of its editors or in the content itself. Indeed, for some people in the developing world, Wikipedia will be their first experience of the internet through the Wikipedia Zero programme. I want the women and girls in those countries to be inspired by reading about the achievements of other women and to sense their own potential. I'm hugely cheered and inspired by the extensive initiatives, projects and campaigns to address the gender gap on Wikipedia and excited to be a small part in helping to address this issue. I suspect that there is no easy answer, there's no one-size-fits-all solution, and that the myriad of interventions and projects that exist to address the gap, often created and led by the editor community at a local level, is probably the right approach. But we also need to raise the profile of this issue outside of that community and encourage and support more women to start editing and to feel confidence in the value of their contributions. We undoubtedly need to deal with harassment and misogyny very firmly and help to create a culture online where that sort of behaviour is just unacceptable. Ultimately, I would like to see the global Wikimedia movement being bold and ambitious about the gender gap, working with other sectors and indeed with the open movement more broadly with the goal of eradicating inequality and bias on Wikipedia. Thank you.